Uh, did anyone else famous go to your school? Uh, a few rugby players because it was St. Helens, and then who else was there? There was a lot of played for Wigan called Tim Chow, and then weirdly enough, I was in New York in Tiffany's, I think it was, and um, did you have breakfast. And it's just what I'm doing. <laughs> Jesus Christ, oh, Colby. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but tits. <laughs> uh, so, I, so I got in the lift and then there's another couple in it and the the guy who was working the lift, he went, oh, are you from, a, oh, where are you from? I said, England. Uh, and he went, all oh, right, what about you to the other couple? And they went, yeah, same. And I looked at him and I was like, oh, that's Tim Chow from my school. So that's Fuck dead weird. off. Dead weird, yeah. Didn't speak to him. <laughs> what? Teddy Bear. Fuck off. You didn't go, mate, I know we're in New York in Tiffany, but I think I went to your school in St. Helens. Blows no. my mind, stuff like that. Yeah. Like, you know, if you imagine the human race as a bunch of atoms, right? What the fuck? And then, like, like <laughs> but the fact that, like, you and him were in school at one yeah. point together, and then you've both gone off on your lives, like two atoms just buzzing around, going fucking everywhere, yeah. and then... Poof, a lift in New York. It's just weird that you've met again. Yeah. Like when um, I bump into someone I haven't seen for ages, like I went to Ikea a couple of months ago. A lad I used to play footy with was in the parking spot in front of me. I was like, what? How? Yeah. The statistical improbability of this where, where was the Ikea? Warrington? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany's was in New York. You're like, I, I can't believe it. It's fucking 12 miles from me house. <laughs> He's in Tiffany's. How awkward are British people? He's like, where are you from? Oh, I'm from England as well. And you're like, yeah, you went to school with me. I went, it's just going to be too awkward to say, yeah. right, mate. Just yeah. fucking Loads ride it out. people do that, pretend not to know each other, don't they? Yeah. Remember Heidi? Yeah. So she used to work in Blue Ink in Liverpool, one where I used to get, I used to wear these t-shirts on stage Ugh. that would, they were so bad looking back. Like, I can't believe I ever wore them. It was like, they had like jokes on them. So it was like the audience got a little, <laughs> but there's one that said, drink triple, see double, act single. Oh, <laughs> he had a beard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I had made it with my girlfriend at the time, also Sophia mentioned before, because she was like, you can't be wearing a t-shirt that says act single. And I was like, stop being fucking mental. Oh, <laughs> one of them was, if you're happy and you know it, show us your tits. tits. <laughs> <laughs> and he'd walk around that, like... <laughs> I'm going to print one. That's what we're wearing tomorrow for the lockdown. <laughs> if you're happy. I'm fucking brilliant. Yeah. Do you reckon that would do well in today's current climate? If you no, walked I reckon out that's stage? probably why there's a few comedians who think I had sexist ideas when yeah. I was young. Yeah. I used to... Why did I bring that up? What? Blew it, Heidi. Oh, yeah. So, hi. <laughs> fucking hell. Thank yes, you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> she worked there, and I knew her, and she knew me. Um, And I would go in... And be saved by her, and we would both pretend that we didn't know each other. It's just weird, isn't it? Because it was easier. Someone, it's just like, yeah, it's just, let's just pretend I don't know your name, you don't know mine. And then we ended up going on a few dates, never went anywhere. But no anger, no like, you know, it's not like an, an old enemy where you're like... No, right. it's just like... Because everyone hates small talk, don't they? How are you, what are you doing? You're not asked, but you've got to ask. What are you doing? To, I broke Tiffany's the silence man. at one point. Like I went, you're Heidi, aren't you? And she went, yeah, are you Adam? And I was like... Yeah, we had to just pretend that we hadn't known for the three years I was shopping in this place. Yeah, we went on a few dates in the end and then never went anywhere. She lives in Canada now. She's a citizen of Canada. Wow. A citizen? Yeah, she's got citizenship. Wow. Yeah. How'd you get that? Do you have to marry someone or? No, you think you just have to live there and then really want to stay. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the citizenship rules, test. Yeah, yeah. You just apply for it. I don't know. What do you, you have to pass the Canadian test? <laughs> I don't Kill a bear! The Canadian test is not as rigorous as some of the other places because... You want to live here, eh? It's sort of like they've got loads of space. Yeah. <laughs> Australia's the same, yeah. Yeah. What? Australia's big. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but yeah. you can't live with everyone else. You've got to live over there. In the That's desert. the thing. Yeah, Canada yeah. can't say, we can't let you in. We haven't got room. Yeah, there's no you know room. I mean? We can say that here. It's fucking chocker sometimes, especially like Christmas Eve and that Liverpool one. It's fucking busy, yeah. you know? Canada's version of Liverpool one. Fucking massive and there's no one there. Yeah. yeah. Greenland's there is, pretty fucking... There is a British citizenship test. Yeah. Do you want to see if you pass it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, can you pass it? No. I'm too thick. Okay, when, what, <laughs> what was the last battle between Great Britain and France? Right, okay. See, this is what annoys me about citizenship tests, right? You don't need to know that, do you? No one needs to know. The Napoleonic Wars. Uh, so it's Trafalgar, Waterloo, Hastings, Agent Court. Waterloo. Agent Court. I thought it was the Hastings one. 
1066. Yeah, I'm on no. Hastings. It's after no, Waterloo's like. It's Waterloo. Yeah. Waterloo's the Abba song, innit? That's, That's the it, one. Yeah. yeah. That was question two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it actually is. Favourite Abba song? Yeah. Waterloo. <laughs> What's your favourite uh, train station in London? <laughs> um, What's the other question, Carl? Come on, you said it was there. Yeah, and I'm trying to get the funny ones. There's some bollocks ones. <laughs> Who is the head of the Church of England? The Queen. She isn't even a fucking option. Oh, God. The Archbishop of Canterbury. Oh, he's an option. Desmond T. It's not. That's wrong. It's the Queen. Desmond T. Is it, is it oh, it's the monarch. Sorry, it's the monarch. Sorry, Adam. Oh, Adam, lad. Come on. Go get on, me a lad. fucking visa, lad. I'm getting deported, dude. There's one. When is <laughs> Christmas... Deported from Canada. <laughs> When's Christmas Day? When's Christmas... When is Christmas Day? Yeah. The 25th of December. Correct. Hey, if we're lucky this year, eh? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> not get a Christmas. Hey, hey, bit of fucking politics, lad. <laughs> Racial <laughs> crime and smoking in public are examples of... <laughs> Racial crime and smoking in public. Living in Middlesbrough. <laughs> 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 racial crime, <laughs> not racism, just vaguely racial, racial crime. crime and smoking in public are examples of what are the options? Criminal or civil offences? <sighs> um, civil. They are civil. Yeah, because like oh, being... not criminal. Oh, really? Smoking in public is not a criminal offence, is it? Yeah. Apparently, it is Apparently in Canada. It is. That's We're all shit crazy. citizens here. We're not because we don't fucking live in Canada. What's the scouse? This is the UK. Oh, the Scouse citizenship What's test. the Scouse citizen? What colours you been? Can you say stops there? Can you say citizenship? Fucking <laughs> 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 citizenship. Uh, what's purple are he famous for? Oh, feeling up muscles. Bam. Yes. Yeah. You're in. You're halfway yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, what colours you been, Stephen? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's brown. Uh, what's the official home of the Prime Minister? Uh, over here. This has all been the UK. Number 10 Downing Street, lads. Come on. That's oh, a is this our test? That That's a tap yeah. in. Oh, I thought you were giving us the Canadian one. So why did you say the Queen then? Because the Queen is the head of the fucking... You, you asked uh, uh, of the Church, Church of, of England. England. In Canada. <laughs> you, missed a, you missed a Maybe part of it. Maybe they've got Church of England over there. We used to be involved. Oh, fuck that off. The Empire, hang on, no. there's one more. What type of character was played by Charlie Chaplin? A superhero. A tramp. A bandit or a scientific genius? A bandit. Tramp. A tramp, was it? Yeah. Arse bandit. You're going to go back, you're going to go arse bandit? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Arse bandit. Uh, it was Silent tramp. Silent bombing. Dan's the only Brit, Brit here. Why is he wearing a suit then? Yeah, we're not English. I've walked past loads of them, they're not wearing suits. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you all looking at me? <laughs> like I represent 1930s <laughs> silent film homeless people. I think it's something to do with the Great Depression, actually. <laughs> We were discussing on last week's episode, like... Cause Brown they, bin. Fucking hell. That's what, I, I remember know. being on a bus once in Liverpool, and <laughs> these lads were bullying their mate because he had a brown bin. And I remember it distinctly because they kept going, you've got a brown bin, maroon, maroon, <laughs> for the whole journey. Because he lived in Sefton. Ooh. Yeah. What would be on the Scouse test? Uh, colours your bin. Who's Purple Aki? What colours your bin? Who's Purple Aki? Stephen French's nickname. Yeah. What's Stephen French's nickname? Oh, I don't know. I know he says rattle in the cage. <laughs> he does that say much. that. Do you I know what Stephen French's nickname is? The devil. Yeah, that's the point. The devil. Oh, the devil, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. he, he, he said on an episode of, was it Ross Kemp? Danny Dyer. Oh, he'd Danny he'd Dyer, go up yeah. to people and he'd rob them with his like, balaclava on. But then <laughs> no, he didn't he need it. He robbed drug dealers. Robbed drug dealers and he'd take it off and go, it's the devil. What are you going to do? Yeah. Has that he been shot, his, that guy? It was his version of Kevin Webster. Yeah. Right. Hey! Um, <laughs> do you know the name of the two gangs that Ross Kemp interviewed in Ross Kemp on Gangs in Liverpool? Oh, you told me this as well. Yeah. The Noggy Dogs. Oh, nice. Not Close. far off. Yeah. No, Close you give him that. Nogger Dogs, yeah. What's the other one? Uh, the Dovecot Darers. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Dovecot Bad Boys. The, pur- <laughs> the Purple Binakis. The Dovey Doves. The Dovey Doves. The Crocky Doves. Yeah, white. It, it isn't the Dovey Doves. It's the Dovey Doves. It's the Dovey Doves. I can't even it's play It's not like that. the... D- oh, fucking hell. They all wear white. I nearly... One of them turns up in cream. Fuck off. The boys to men. The Tocky Tulips. <laughs> Come yeah. on. The Kenny Crackheads. Yeah. The Old Swan. 
Sausage Horrible dinners. people. <laughs> it's just the crocky heads, isn't it? It's the crocky crew. Yeah, but it's not. No one ever calls them that. They call themselves it. It's the crocky heads, isn't it? The crocky heads. They're all dead now, anyway. Yeah. Are they? What'll be the um, Lancashire one? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to pot? Oh, it'd be <laughs> yes. so... Be so do- the Preston Pals? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking tragic. No, what'll be the Lancashire test? The Lancashire test? Yeah. Oof, good question. Yeah. Something to do with how you say fucking... Do you say bap or bam kick? Some hack Twitter shit. Yeah. yeah. They love a bit of that. Maybe we should start doing that on the Have A Way account to get more interaction. Yeah. Is this a bam cake? Oh, it'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. It'd be really original and exciting. Is this black and blue or white and gold? Oh, Remember that? the dress. Yes, yeah. Well, it was white and gold, though, wasn't it? To me, it was. Black I never blue. saw black. Sorry. Wow. We're really cutting to the fucking yeah. heart of... Cutting edge. Well, it's Probably go do. viral this bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's happened in 2016. <laughs> I reckon that last 40 seconds might be the worst 40 seconds in Have a Word history. <laughs> we could do worse. You know, I know we've done this podcast so much that when we both look at each other with a certain look, in my head I'm like, we are in weird <laughs> waters. Because if Adam looks at me and goes, where are we going? And I'm doing the same face back. Like, no fucking no. <laughs> uh, uh, you talk about the driving experience the other week or last week. Yeah, Jamie Lee, when I you, love that he listens. You know, yeah, when you when you dropped me off and you did a bit where you went through a car park as a shortcut, it was some of the best driving I've ever seen. <laughs> I was really surprised. <laughs> Where's he got that from? But it was Is he a like, good driver? Yeah, because yeah. if you don't know what we're talking about on Colin the pe- on the pe- was it the Patreon episode? Huh? Was it yeah. on the Patreon? What yeah. did you call yourself? Colin McCarrow. <laughs> <laughs> don't dead. let me near that helicopter. Oh, uh, and uh, Adam <laughs> thinks he's an amazing driver. But I just, I just imagine there's a lot of rage involved in like, like road good. rage involved. But no, he was fine. It was he thing, dropping you off last time. Here's the thing: I do get road rage. I do, but I just need to beep it out, and then it's gone. Yeah. Hey! Oh, and you then shout! I'm oh, no. you, sh- you shout with the beep. <laughs> yeah, it's ten times a journey. Yeah, but then it's gone. I can once I've got it out, <laughs> it's gone. Do it again. Hey! Right. <laughs> We need Car- to get him a horn, don't we, for the for the podcast. When he gets really wound up. Carl, when Carl's behind the wheel, if someone cuts Carl up, he's genuinely still pissed off about it three days later. I, I get back him. in the car, like, do you remember that fucking guy in the M6 the other day? He's fucking raging. I have to stop myself chasing people on the motorway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it was really funny. Me and him had a race home the other week. So we were both here. At, at the speed limit. Yeah. We were both here in our independent cars at the time. And uh, for a while, whenever I drove here, I'd go one way home. And whenever he drove home, we'd go the other way because he thought the other way was quicker. And I was like, I was on the phone to him. And I went, lad, like, you, we're right next to each other on the fucking Runcorn Bridge looking at each other like fucking Vin Diesel and Ludacris. Right? <laughs> like, Not Paul Walker. He's dead, isn't he? <laughs> Grandad. This one. I went to him, right, you go your way. I'll go my way. <laughs> I will see you get home first. And he fucking missed the exit. <laughs> he ended up in speak. I got to someone else's home first. <laughs> <laughs>